From that story, we go to Check Me Out, where we profile Nigerians doing wonderful things home and abroad. This week, we check out Oduri Obrutse, a Lagos-based makeup artist seeking to address the issue of misrepresentation of self facial deception and loss of identity amongst women. Let's check her out. Hello, my name is Udiri Ruti. I'm a makeup artist. Check me out. Growing up for me was really lovely. Um, I grew up in a beautiful home. I'm one of three daughters. Um, so you can imagine there was lots of playing with clothes and, and makeup every now and again. In primary school, my friends coined the nickname Madame Fashion. I moved to England for further education. I did my A-levels for two years. Then I went to university. I went to the School of Oriental and African Studies where I studied economics for three years. I worked two years after that in the UK. Then I moved back to Nigeria in 2012. I worked at an oil and gas firm here in Lagos, Nigeria. At no point in my life did I wake up and say, I want to be a makeup artist. Nothing left an impression on me more than bumping into my old classmates, which looked amazing. And I was just like, you know, like, what did they do? I came back and the entire time I was just talking, talking, talking about makeup, makeup, makeup. I spent the first two years just watching YouTube tutorials. I was hooked and I was obsessed. I started my company ODI, which is short for Odiri Did It, and we're a boutique makeup artistry com company aimed at providing soft glam and natural looks to our clients. People say looks are deceptive, more so when makeup is in fall. Even the majority of my clients, when they book me, the first thing they say is, I don't like a lot of makeup, I don't like a lot of makeup, I don't want to look a certain way. I get it, makeup can be a lot, and that can be problematic because it can leave people looking unrecognizable. So my approach to makeup is very simple. I want my clients to look beautiful, but still look like themselves. I basically want to retain the client's natural beauty, just enhance it, not transform it, just enhance it. I've been very fortunate to build a portfolio of clients made up of women from different walks of life. I've had an international supermodel, Leah Kibidi to be exact. I've been flown to do the makeup of a sitting president's daughter for her wedding. I've done international superstar Tiwa Savage's makeup on one of her international tours as well. I've also had the pleasure of doing media mogul Mo Abudu's makeup on several occasions. I have people that come to me to learn what I do, either for personal use or because they're trying to be makeup artists like me themselves. And I tell them there's no rule to makeup other than blending. For a very flawless makeup look, you need to blend. My name is Odio Rubutse. I'm a makeup artist and you've just checked me out. Brushes, powder and beauty. Well done, Odiri. And now to a quick reminder of our top story. Opinions divided over government's December 1st deadline for federal civil servants to get vaccinated. And that's where we end today's episode of the program. Many thanks for watching. You can check out more content from us at bbc.com forward slash Africa and channels tv.com. Until next time, I am Wale Fakile. Bye.